controversial. Be controversial. Okay. What I need you to do is to be respectful of each other and honest, but respectfully. We're going to talk about race, and we're going to talk about class, which means if you're what type of money you have. Okay. Those subjects can be controversial. I want your honest opinion, but I don't want, here's what you don't do. Oh, white people are racist. Okay, I don't want that. Or, oh, Mexicans are dumb. <laughs> right, dumb, dumb? All right. <laughs> I'm kidding, by the way. Um, or, oh, black people eat chicken. All right. <laughs> Nothing like that. That is putting people in a category based on no facts, no evidence. I want your opinion, but don't throw all oh, anybody into it. Does that make sense? Okay, here's what I want you to do right now, without speaking, just think. Okay, I'm going to say some words, and I want you to think of the first things that come to your mind. You're going to answer them honestly, but think of the first things that come to your mind. And I have some pictures to help you if you're not sure kind of what we're talking about. Okay, because today we're going to talk about our opinion. Lanisha's opinions. Because we know Lanisha lives where? In the Lake Ninth Ward. Ward. Which is an inner city neighborhood. But we're going to get her out of the picture right now. We're just talking about us. They get drunk a lot? Okay, drinking. Oh. <laughs> yeah? They might be a little rich. Okay. Really? Uh uh. No, that is not how we respond to people. What makes you say rich? Because uh, they, they got a, a huge pool and some big, some big houses. Okay. There might be a lot of shooting. Okay, so shooting. Anything else? Yeah. Doing drugs. Drugs? Also got a writing problem because this is where we're going. Okay, we're not doing the writing today. We're starting it. So read that for me, Kayden. Describe Lanisha's point of view of her inner city neighborhood. Cite evidence from the text to support your answer. All right. What does this mean when we talk about describe? What does describe mean, Christine? It's like like if you it's like if you see a picture. It's like that you just see telling someone like what are you seeing in the picture? Telling about. So we're telling about. Good. Lanisha's point of view. We've done point of view. What does that mean? Like the way she sees it and what she thinks about it. Her opinion. Good. Uh, for inner city neighborhood, and we know that she lives in which neighborhood? Okay, but then what are we going to have to do? Okay. What does that mean? Where do you find evidence? In the, in the story. In the text. Neighborhood. 
So we want, what does she think about her neighborhood that she lives in, the ninth floor? What is her opinion? We have all these things that we have heard and seen and thought. We're going to read and figure out what her opinion is. And then we're going to find evidence to support it. So right now we're just going to read. Mama Yaya about the dog yet. So far. No. 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 Well, so she it. comes in. She's got this dog that Mama Yaya has never seen. Think about if you were bringing a dog home to your parents. Okay? She needs it. Look what I found. I found a puppy. Can I have it? Can I keep it? What does Mama Yaya say? Is that spot? Look in the book. What does Mama Yaya say? Is that spot? Is that spot? She already knows the dog's name. How does she know the dog's name? You just said it. Because she has a sight. She has a sight. She can tell the people. She knew. So, Lanisha didn't go, get to go in and be like, look, can I keep it? She didn't even get to do that. Mama Yaya is just like, oh, look, it's spot. So she's like, oh. She's not like mad, she's just like, oh, Lord, she already knows. Okay. Poor Rudy and Rodriguez. Elena. Where do they live? Yeah, they live in the neighborhood, right? What is happening, if you had to draw out the scene, what's happening with Alicia and Rudy and Rodriguez and Spot and Tashaun? They're like playing around. Okay, what does she mean? 
this shows or this proves that that's your, your evidence. Your E, your evidence, your explain your evidence. We yeah, are tomorrow. Good. We're going to use this to help us write tomorrow. Okay? So, in your groups, right now, in a minute, you're going to work together with the sticky notes. You're each going to get a page. It's not going to take you long. You're going to find all the evidence on your page, put the sticky note by it, explain it. I want your sticky notes to start with this shows. Questions? Yeah. Yes. Do you have to give each individual person a sticky note? Um, that is a great question. Why don't we have our recorders do it? If you don't have a B, you're going to go to... Oh, the recorder. Oh, the recorder. Yeah. The next person over. Alright, so all the people are hanging out outside. What might that show? That they all like to play outside. Okay, so take that to the outside. But what does she feel? That they should be inside. What in there shows you that? Wait, not that, that it should be outside, that it's done outside. Because she's so showing what other people are doing. So she's showing people outside having fun. So maybe that's important. So Brendan, you start looking at this. How we doing, guys? The Drew. How you doing?
Why do you think that would be good evidence for this for for Lanisha's point of view about her neighbor? Why does she think it's family? I know, and to share money. She made a lot of money. That says a lot, right? Yeah. Because maybe her neighbors care about her. Yes. I hear someone blowing a saxophone. I hear some boys hollering for a pickup basketball. Others are rapping on the street corner, pretending they are on TV. This shows how Lanisha is comfortable in her neighborhood and how they have a lot of activities going on in the neighborhood. What do you guys think? Does that show that she's comfortable in her neighborhood? Yeah. Yes. Yes? No, I don't know. What does it show?
Not all things that happen there are bad. There are drug dealers everywhere, guys, not just in the projects. But there are murders everywhere. Okay? I didn't grow up in the projects, and I know I knew which houses in my neighborhood had drug dealers in them. Okay? Shootings happen all over the place. Theft, vandalism, that happens everywhere, guys. So don't judge something or someone because they come from somewhere that's not where you come from. Does that make sense? Because what else can we apply this to besides neighborhoods? School. School? What do you mean? Because like if somebody if somebody has a hole in their shirt, it doesn't just mean that they come from a bad place. And it could have mean that they accidentally fell at something they had. Girl, look, I got a hole. Wait, look, I just bought this shirt. Listen, 